Hello. Chris here, uh, Real L140, joined today by special guest, Mr. Real L guy himself. How you doing, Chris? All right? Hello, I'm all right. Yeah, we've had a couple. Uh, we've tried a few bits and pieces, but today we've got something that's quite special. It's uh, the Bait Noir from the Bristol Beer Factory. Now this beer, it's, it's their BBF Home Champion. So uh, presumably they run some kind of competition at the Bristol Beer Factory for people to brew their own home beer and then they help them, help them make it up. So this is a 6.5% Cascadian Black IPA. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Get the old oohs and ahs out for that one. Yeah. Uh, so BBF Homebrew Champion. Bait Noir, meaning Black Beast. I like the sound of that. Yeah, most definitely. Mm. Most definitely. So who won this? Uh... Oh, yeah, the guy that won it. Yeah, props to him. Oh, well, so far. It was a guy called Richard Poole. Um, yeah. It's a beautifully smooth, fruity, with a more than generous amount of New World hops. This sounds right up my oh, alley, yeah. if I'm honest. Yeah, 6.5% black IPA. Good for sharing. Good for sharing. Let's have another one. Of my favourite beers, I think, in glass. Let's get this up to the, uh, there's a jewel pour here. Look at that. Nice and cold. Well, not too cold. No, not too good, cold. Good temperature. We've been out in the cold ourselves, so we know what it's like. Frothy out of us. Let's get a bit of the end bits in there just to froth them up. So, first impressions. Really nice, kind of generous head on that. Yeah, yeah. Tight head. Off, kind of mocha, kind of colour head. Yeah. Up to the light. Yeah, we've got hal from. halogen lights in the kitchen and it's, it's pretty clear, mm. I'd say. Yeah, looking good. No light coming through there whatsoever. Let's get our, get our noses in that, shall we? Thanks for the invite, Chris. <sighs> Getting the, uh, yeah, mm. picking up the new world in there, all over. I do like that. Oh, it's, it's so good. It's such a good nose, this beer. Not picking up a massive whack of hot um, malts, but that might come with the flavour, as it often does with a black IPA. Yeah, and you know, I like this idea of a big beast. You know, and, and uh, it's a it's an interesting idea with a black IPA. Well, you know, some people have called them oxymoron. You know, yeah, it's a bit of a counter weird style. Really, you have to get into them to see what it's all about. So, should we dig in? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Superb. That is absolutely brilliant. Close your eyes and there's a hoppy gold nail. Yeah. Hoppy IPA. Mmm. And it's still kicking. It's, ah. Wow. Wow. And now, only now you get this kind of roastedness right, right on the end. Yeah, it's, it's almost like, imagine, that, well this is your drink. This is your drink with a head. Then, so you drink all of this, and this is the only bit that tastes roasted. It's almost like that. Yeah, it's, that's right. That's, yeah, that's yeah. how you're catching it. Superb. Mm. So in the mouth, it's slightly viscous. It's it's biting. Mm. It's biting. It's it's right bang, mm. right back here, right back here. It's just yeah, zing zing zing. Yeah, making the Slavic glands go. Mm. I'm finding it so refreshing. Yes. The water quality again from anything like anything south of Wales, yeah. England-wise. Just the water quality in their beer seems to be unrivaled for me. It's, it's, yeah, it's almost like a spring water base. Yeah, yeah. But with a so it's slightly viscous, but maintaining a kind of thing that keeps you refreshed. I could I could I could sink this in a couple of gulps. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, that, and, that's and I'm struggling not to. Yeah, yeah. It's, this is all about restraint, this beer, and it really shouldn't be at that kind of ABV. Mm. Really good quality. Yeah, nice, nice laser yeah. when, you, when you give it yeah. a bit of a whirl. It's that kind of. What I like is that kind of peaty, peaty chocolate coffee. Mm. Right on. It, it, it's so minuscule. It's so. 
but it's meant to be. It's not yeah. meant to be a big porter or a big no. kind of Russian imperial style. It's it's right on the end. And what I like, and you're my favourite part of it, that you know, much I appreciate a good stout these days, is that you're picking up all these lovely new old flavours of gooseberries and kind of you know, kiwi almost. You know, it's, it's really mm. out there with with those kind of new world hot flavours. Close your eyes, take a sip. It's a beautifully hot golden ale for the first 15 seconds of the taste. Yeah. So you're picking up grapefruit and, and kind of pine. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it doesn't, superb. doesn't have that kind of cloyness that an American IPA would. You know, it's, it's, no. He's brewed this beautifully. I like to get it's not sticky on the lips. Mm, no. it's, a, it's a very good. Um, this is a homebrew. Oh, this is up there for me. With what, with Brian, Brian Matika, the, the oh yeah yeah Brian Brian Mujati, the Mujati, uh, sorry, yeah, yeah the the rugby player yeah this is the well black IPA wise somebody's making this out in their shed. It's, well, it's probably it's a bit more sophisticated than that. Sorry, Richard Paul, if you if you're watching. Um, I'd like to see more things that you could do if, mm. if you are watching. Um, I'm going to search you out on Twitter. Um, after this, and, and see what you're up to, because uh, yeah. if you can make a beer of this quality, I, I, I'd like to know about you. We'll offer you up to all the breweries in South Wales. Yeah, yeah, they need you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take me to um, name me new names. <coughs> mm. So I can say that on my channel. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Mm. Um, this is just endlessly good. It's it's not overly carbonated. No. It's like you say, it's dangerously drinkable because of that. There's enough there's enough carbonation to keep it kind of zinging on your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. On the inside of your palate. But it takes it all the way along the tongue. It's a little bit sticky, maybe. You know, but that's okay. You can deal with it because there's enough freshness there and that water quality to I kind of. I think it's them going. them hops again. It's the Cascade, probably Centennial and and some. Simcoe maybe, but it's 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 wonderful. Mm. Really good beer. And and I just. The Bristol Beer Factory, I think I only started reviewing their beers 18 months ago and I just can't get enough of they're, their they're beers. One they're of the best brewers on the scene. They're, they're up there with, with Buxton and. Yeah. Uh, Buxton and Bristol Beer Factory and who's the other? Thornbridge. For me, they're, yeah. they're the big three at the moment. Yeah. Uh, forgive me, any, anybody that I've reviewed and, and uh, I've said nice things about you all. There are some other good ones out there, but these are the ones that are really pushing the boundaries. This isn't actually Bristol Beer Factory, but they've pushed out with their label on, which yeah. says a lot about this guy, Richard Paul. Um, you know, he's, he's doing this. We should do this, really, shouldn't we? I think we should. I think yeah. we should just, I think it's a case of getting through this kind of difficult spell we're going through and then, yeah. and then me and Chris just going for a brewery. Yeah, well, basically, we'll put our, if we shot our children in the shed, we can yeah. set brewing in the house. You yeah. Go from there. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Um, final thoughts, mate. Final thoughts is that this beard is not going to last very long at all. Mm -hmm. My wife and Chris's wife are in the living room, and I doubt very much they're going to get a taste of this because no. it's just so good. It's going to go now. Um, the head is kept its head all the way down. The beer. Um, there's nice. Li so final thoughts. Final thoughts is that the carbonation level on this beard is great and. And well, we're, we're all the way down to just a smidge left in the bottom of the glass. Mm. I doubt very much that my wife, Mrs. Real Ale Guy, is going to get much of this. It's just such a good beer. Um, it's, it's just so drinkable. Mm. It's hoppy. There's lovely lace on the glass. There's that, but it looks black. It looks like a black yeah, kind of stout. It, it, it looks better than the beer that the girls reviewed earlier. In the in in terms of how <coughs> how it looks. Um, Oh, the hops come back on the dirt, Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to my uh, my burp in a moment. <laughs> For me, this this is a classic, classic black IPA. Mm. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. It, it, it is counterintuitive, but it's right, absolutely right in this case. Richard Paul, you're a genius, sir. Yeah. Um, thank you for this. Mine's gone. Mm. I, can't, I can't save any for the wife. Um, do you want to give it a mark? Yeah, easily. 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 beer. It's fabulous. Creamy. Out of, 10, out of 10 for me. It's almost creamy, the mouthfeel. There's yeah. just so many good things. Even to the point where it's hard to put it into words how good this beer is. Yeah. And well, I mean, you rarely see us. So it's 6.5%. Yeah. But the pair of us, we're not massive drinkers. 
No. Strangely. No. But you won't see us both sink a little bit of that that quickly. No. It's not just, often. Just, just gone. Yeah. There's no there was no sharing, no saving. It was just too good for words. Too good for words. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for inviting me on this Bat Noir review from the Bristol Beer Factory, Chris. It's, it's, it's one of them beers of, of my year, I'd say. And this has been one of the best beers I've had this year, and it's December. So that gave you a, an idea as to what the deal is with that. All right. Well, uh, follow the real logo clearly on YouTube and all that business. Yeah. Um, follow me if yeah. you want to. Follow this man; he's great in all the other places. I might, if I can, his be blogs. Put the link up there. Um, but if not, then you'll just have to find it the hard way. Read his blog; he's a genius. <coughs> as my broke will testify. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Cheers, Thanks, Chris. Cheers, mate.